today we're solving problem 22 from the fall AMC 10B of 2021. Okay. For each integer n is greater than or equal to 2, let s of n be the sum of all products j times k, where j and k are integers, and 1, and this inequality right here expresses like what values are in between j and k. So what is the sum of the least 10 values of n such that s of n is divisible by 3? Okay. Well, this is basically a summation notation with all the stuff we were given. So, let's see here. It's the sum of all products. Okay. So, basically, when s of n approaches s of n plus 1, you use the equation 1 times n plus 1 plus 2 times n plus 1 all the way to when you add n times n plus 1. We can factor this by taking out the n plus 1. This becomes 1 plus 2 all the way to n. Okay, times n plus 1. Now, um, there's a formula for this, for the sigma formula. Um, when you're adding values from 1 all the way to a certain variable or a term, this um, this will become, <clears throat> um, well, this would be n times n plus 1 over 2, but there's still that n plus 1 term here, so you square it. This is the equation we're going to use. <clears throat> now, the question states that we want to find the least 10 values of n such that s of n is divisible by 3. That means that um, it's going to be in the form of like n mod 3. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we notice something here. Let's just test out one value for n. So when n is 1, I'll write it here. n is 1. 1 times 2 squared over 2. Um, this is going to be 2. Okay. That's 2. But now we have to take the mod of that, okay? So s of 2, this is 2 mod 3. Therefore, it is 2 mod 3, okay? And since this is a 3 thing, a 3 formula, um, it changes by 2 every 3 terms. So like likewise, s of 3, I mean, sorry, s of 5, this is going to be... Um, 1 mod 3, and s of 8, this is going to be 0 mod 3. And what this basically means is that um, s of 8 has a remainder of 0 when divided by 3. It continues on for two more terms, so we have s of 8... Um, so we can just keep on writing for two more terms, and then um, there will be more numbers since it's the first 10, and this is only 3. Okay, earlier we proved that it, it moves every 3, and s of a is the first term of 0 mod 3 that can be divided by 3. This is, s of a is the first term that can be divided by 3. This goes on for two more. s of 9, so... Um, these are gr in groups of 3. This is 0, s of 8, s of 9, and s of 10. Those are the first 3. Now the second 3, we just have to increase by 9. Because <coughs> you count back by 9, it increases by 9. Okay? Because it's a cycle. This is s of 17, s of 18, s of 19. Then the third sequence, this is going to be s of <coughs> s of 26, s of 20, 27, s of 28. We have nine terms here. We want the tenth term. So <coughs> what we can do is, well, s of 26, the next term after that is going to be s of 35. This is our 10 terms. 
So we just want the ends here. The ends are all the uh, these bottom numbers, I guess. So we can add them up. 8 plus 9 plus 10 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19 plus 26 plus 27 plus 28 plus 35. This sum is going to be our answer, and when you eventually solve for this, you get that our answer is 197. And we are done.